The truth is, the Democratic Party, Bloomberg, the gun control groups, the lawyers that keep the parents basically in their entourage have gotten $73 million from Remington. They've sued a whole bunch of other organizations and groups, and now they're using it to go after the First Amendment, not just the Second. So when these lawyers accuse me of living off Sandy Hook and accuse me of making money off of it, that's what they're doing. It, it, it's actually the opposite. I want to clarify one thing. Here's a good example where the media, they run with a headline. They say, Alex Jones owes $50 million, right, in the Sandy Hook case. Hmm. Clarify that. There's a cap on punitive damages. Well, I mean, let's walk through the show trial. Okay. So we have a two-week trial on damages. And the headlines are, Alex Jones found guilty of defamation and personal infliction of harm. Because that's where you get the bigger money. By a judge. You have to read the bottom of the article to say she found me you know, guilty. Then she instructs the jury I'm guilty. Then she instructs my lawyer that he can't really talk or go any of these dozens of places in pre-trial and morning uh, special hearings she has where she turns off the internet feed and doesn't let you see what's happening. She kept constantly doing that, uh, of the internet streaming of it. And then once that happens, then they, she instructs the jury that I'm guilty. They ask for $150 million. They put this uh, so-called financial expert on who'd been given our actual finances, who'd been given our federally sworn bankruptcy filing about, here's what we have, here's the real money that's there. Didn't look at it. We weren't allowed to even cross-examine him or ask him any questions that, quote, weren't in their evidence. Was well, the guy who looked like he had a dead mink on his head? The guy that looked like Thurston Howell, the 80th. Exactly. Yes, yes exactly. Oh, Buffy, yes. And so he gets up there and calls me Genghis Khan, and I'm the greatest businessman ever, and I'm so evil, and my company's worth $130 million, and I'm worth $260 million. And so the jury told Reuters later, the jury forewoman, well, we didn't think he deserved to be wiped out and, and gotten rid of for his, quote, mistake. So we only gave each plaintiff, the man and woman, 10% of his wealth. Well, what they thought they gave him was way more than the wealth I had, even if even if it was forty seven million or uh, and there's different calculations. But but the maximum allowable that you'd be paying is five point six million. Five point six million. But see, that's the thing is, in other words, does the New York Times know that? Yes. Do all of these other outlets reporting on that? No. Do they know that? Yes. They do know but that. But they want the headline: you owe whatever it is, fifty million, sixty million, whatever the headline was exactly, the exact amount, even though they know that that's not accurate, because they want it to be seen as a bigger victory. Uh, exactly. Than it's it is. lie after lie after lie. And, and, and so this is the corporate media knowing they're collapsing, they're not believed in anymore, willing to set the precedent to outlaw all their new competition. And so they said, we're going to use Alex Jones and the straw man we built as the model to take out all our competition. And when the conservatives don't come to his aid and don't rally to his support, we're going to be able to just steamroll through just like they did four years ago <clears throat> with my deplatforming. But now they're openly saying Alex Jones is the model. Right. And... We're going to do this to everybody else. And again, there's an old saying, it's better that 10 guilty men go free than one innocent man go to jail. It's the same thing civilly. Even if I did the things they said I did, which I didn't do it the way they said I did, 90% of it's not true or twisted. They got rid of my due process. They're stealing your due process right now. And I was not given a jury of my peers to decide whether or not they thought I was guilty. Then they have a trial on damages to find out how much money I have. Instead, they know the public's dumbed down on average. So they had a small trial making it look like this is how a trial works, where our hands were tied, when the damage trial should have been two weeks on how much money I had. Before we instead, get, before of, we... instead of two weeks for a fake little mini trial to make the public think I had a trial. Realize this is the hoax. The hoax, the hoax is, is not Sandy Hook shooting. The hoax is this so-called trial and this judge. Let me ask you this. So for the general layman who hasn't followed, they think, you okay, Alex Jones accused the families, the parents of the Sandy Hook victims of being crisis actors, said it was a hoax. Um, then they believe that you didn't turn over anything and that's why the judge threw the book at you. So you said Sandy Hook hoax, went after the parents, didn't turn over what was requested. That's actually why you're being made an example of. How much of that is accurate? You have the floor. Well, I hardly ever talked about it, but now, since this has gone on for four years, I've had to learn every damn thing about it. Sandy Hook happens, it's hard to believe that something like this could actually happen where a bunch of little kids get killed. Adam Lanza's mother goes and buys him the gun illegally. He did get a visit from the CIA and the FBI uh, for threatening to ship the school a few years before and doing weird hacking. And so the 4chan people kind of jump on that 
and 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 and, and start saying there's a cover up, something else happened here. I covered it some, did three four shows back in you know, the first year it happened, and then by the next year, some former school administrators and others and professors start questioning it and saying we think you know, they saying this, they're saying uh, this. nobody died, and so we had a couple of them on as guests. Then it's already a huge internet controversy. Which to be clear on YouTube, that's I mean that's not what I and I know that that's not what you believe. The film is represent yeah, headline. Stephen Crowder says no children died. Right, but now Alex Jones says it again. Didn't right. say that. I'm giving people the timeline of what happened. There were other people who but, who were saying this. But that's the thought police out there, yeah. And they just sit back at such a power trip. We have to sit here and just proviso everything. So, so for a couple years, I think it happened. But people have questions about it. We cover it a few times. It becomes a huge internet controversy over the years. With you know huge YouTube videos with 10, 20, 30 million views. Not even our videos. People start asking us, cover this, get on more of this. Look at these professors. Look at these safety people. They say there's a big cover up, and 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 that nobody died. They say so. Then I get them on. We do a few interviews uh, with a couple of them. Then it becomes more of a controversy. Then we have a debate by by one journalist uh, from American Free Press that thinks it happened, and the other people that think it might be staged. I don't even host that debate. Then I get sick of constantly hearing about it. I go, sure, fine. You know, I believe it, it, that it could have not happened. That's just my opinion on a talk show. Then I start seeing how crazy some of the folks are that are pushing that, and some of the anomalies they brought up weren't true. And so I then say, okay, I think it happened. So then from like 2015 to 2016 to, into the campaign, I never talk about it one time. Then they run $30 million or whatever it was of ads. Hillary does against Trump saying, here's Trump's brain, Alex Jones, which that isn't true either. And he thinks Sandy Hook didn't happen. Here's a, you know edited clip of him saying it. Then when Trump wins, Democrats now believe I actually run Trump. They believe I'm like Godzilla attacking Tokyo. They totally flip. And then Megyn Kelly wants to come interview me. I tell Megyn Kelly, I think it happened. Um, they try to edit that where it doesn't make any sense. And then they file lawsuits on me in Connecticut and in Texas. The families. Not just families. There's an FBI agent. I never heard his name, never said his name, didn't even know who he was. Mm -hmm. uh, in Connecticut, he's suing me. So I'll be up there next week. He'll be in the courtroom. Somebody, I've never seen the dude, don't even know his name until I saw the lawsuit. And he wants a bunch of money because I said this might not have happened. And he was just an FBI agent that was there. So so, so now I guess if you question any event, whether it's Jesse Smollett or whatever, if it turned out Jesse Smollett was real, will the cops right. that responded sue you? The truth is the Democratic Party, Bloomberg, the gun control groups, the lawyers that keep the parents basically in their entourage – have gotten $73 million from Remington. They've sued a whole bunch of other organizations and groups, and now they're using it to go after the First Amendment, not just the Second. So when these lawyers accuse me of living off Sandy Hook and accuse me of making money off of it, that's what they're doing. It, it, it's actually the opposite. And so people walk to me in stores and they go, why don't you stop talking about that? I was on Joe Rogan four years ago and apologized. I was on other shows six years ago and apologized. I have been on the same shows before. You didn't do this. And they say, do you feel responsible? Would you like to apologize? Like I'm supposed to sit here five times a day and bow towards. No, you offered. I never brought it up. You offered an apology on this show. I remember years ago. You, yeah. you, you said like this is one of, and you clarified and you said that you believed it happened. And uh, yeah, you did. You said that you uh, really felt bad for the family and how they've been affected. I remember that you did that on the show and it wasn't something we were even talking about. And, and how many years ago was that? Uh, at least a couple. Okay, so, so, so understand, hundreds of times and everywhere I go, it gets brought up. And then AP, Reuters, all of them, when I was found guilty by the jury, because the judge had already found me guilty, and she told him he's guilty, the headline everywhere, Jones finally admits when on the stand Sandy Hook happened. Even though I've given AP and everybody interviews four years ago, five years ago, where Jones admits it happened. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.